The agreement between the United States and Colombia has caused uproar in Latin America. The decade-long deal will see a bigger U.S. military presence there. But neighboring Venezuela is far from happy, with President Chavez slamming it as a betrayal. RT's Dina Gosovsky has more on this in Washington. Over to you now. Hi there. Well, U.S. policy in Latin America is causing quite a bit of outrage. The United States has a deal with Colombia that would allow it to escalate its military presence in the region, but this is not going over so well with leaders in South America. Hugo Chavez, the president of Venezuela, came out and said he views this as a declaration of war and might even break diplomatic ties with his neighbor. Now, the government of Colombia says that this deal is aimed at stopping drug trafficking and combating terrorism. But how is the United States addressing this, or are they concerned with this backlash at all? Well, joining me to discuss just that is Michael Shifter, a Columbia expert at the Inter-American Dialogue in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much for being here. So Hillary Clinton has said a few comments about this matter, but we haven't really heard a lot of other things. How is the United States addressing this? Were they naive enough to think that the leaders of Latin America would be okay with this, that, that there would be no political fallout? Well, unfortunately, they haven't really learned their lesson, uh, and they didn't anticipate the reaction. They did anticipate the reaction with Hugo Chavez and some of the more hardline governments, but not of Brazil, Chile, the more moderate governments uh, in Latin America. This was completely unexpected. And uh, unfortunately, they haven't learned the lesson that if there's any kind of agreement that has to do with the use of military resources of the United States in Latin America, this is going to arouse a lot of suspicions is going to be a problem. So they didn't, they didn't really lay the groundwork before. They didn't consult. And I think this was, uh, this was a, a decision that was made at the bureaucratic agency level and didn't get to the highest political levels. And I think the United States has paid a price for it. Now, do you agree with Chavez in that this is a way for the U.S. to kind of have more control over the region? I, I don't think so. I think that it's very hard to, to imagine that the United States has any plan or any great strategy for, for Latin America. This, the region is not a, a high priority. There isn't attention focused on it. So I don't, I don't think the United States is up to anything. Uh, but I think uh, what could have avoided this is really just to really consult uh, with other governments to explain exactly what's involved here, what this consists of, what this agreement is about, and I think you could have avoided this tremendous problem. Well, that's right. I mean, some experts say that because of the way that this deal went through, that such countries like Brazil and Venezuela should be concerned. So what is the United States going to do moving forward to kind of appease uh, some of these countries? I think the United States and what Brazil is going to insist on, what the United States and Colombia will agree to, I think, is just explicit guarantees and assurances that uh, the use uh, of these bases in Colombia would not be used for anything beyond the borders of Colombia. Uh, that's what the countries are concerned about. Uh, if it's to fight drugs and terrorism in Colombia, that's okay. This is a sovereign decision by the Colombian government. But what the other governments are concerned about is this going to be for regional operations uh, over their countries and without their permission. And they want guarantees that this will not happen. And I think the United States and Colombia should be prepared to give them those guarantees. Well, thank you so much for being here. It's going to be interesting to see what the United States actually does. But for now, I'm going to throw it back to you in Moscow. Thanks for that. Dina Gosowski from Washington. And in